Welcome everybody, my name is Michael and today we're discussing about Robinhood and their new cryptocurrency wallet. So this is why you should be concerned with Robinhood. Let's take a look into the past. And remember last year when they were kind of a little iffy with Dogecoin and various stocks that were being pumped, if you remember the GameStop AMC trend? Well, just like Coinbase, they've done many shady things, except now they're going a little bit deeper into cryptocurrency. And it's not just the fact that they could limit trading that should be taken, you know, with a grain of salt. Anything that comes out of their mouth, I mean, you wouldn't want to trust them fully because, hey, 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 they might just limit you. Uh, there's also another thing. Uh, they say they actually lie that they won't make any money from your trades, that everything is free. Well, not exactly. You see, there is an artificially wide bid-ask spread. So, let's say person A wants to buy Bitcoin at $100,000, or 20000 or 50000 or whatever the number is. Now, they end up purchasing this Bitcoin, and it doesn't cost them anything. However, it is marked up artificially high, because they're purchasing Bitcoin from another individual who isn't selling for that price. There's an artificially wide gap. Now, it could be $10 difference, it could be $5 difference, it could be $100 difference, but whatever the difference is, Robinhood is pocking that. So if you're purchasing, say, for $100,000 from person B, but person B is selling it for 99950 that's a $50 difference. And you are purchasing for free, even though you're paying with a markup. So what that means is, if you use an analogy, there's been certain stores out there that have been caught red-handed with sales. Yes, Black Friday sales or sales that just go on for the whole year. If it's a sale that is every single day, it's not really a sale. That's just the price of it. For example, the My Pillow creator, Mike Lindell, uh, he had a lawsuit that he had constant sales. So really, that was the original price of his towels and the sleeping sets and all that. And then there's stores that will mark up certain products. So for example, let's say your Coca-Cola is actually worth a dollar fifty uh, or two dollars or whatever, and then they mark it up 10, 20 percent, and then they say, "Oh, big discount." Well, you're still paying a premium. I've actually seen Arizona. This is the easiest example to use. I've seen Arizona. We all know their campaign. Oh, besides Europe, then that's an obvious difference. It's going to be more expensive over there. But in America, Arizona's 99 cents for the large cans, except it's not. Not everywhere. You see, when I went to Circle K, it was actually $1.20. When I went to another gas station, it was $1.10. And then there's some gas stations which do sell it for $0.99, cents, and Walgreens might even sell it for under $0.99 cents if you have their card, and that's pretty cool. But there's always that little markup somewhere. So now let's take a look at Robinhood. And let's say there's millions of these trades, and there's millions of these traders out there. Then if they're pocketing a tiny difference, a couple cents here, a couple dollars there, they're making millions of dollars every single day just from pocketing the difference. So it's not actually free for you. And then there's the whole thing, well, should you trust this company? Because if you're going to be using them as a wallet, well, if anything happens to that, that's not your money. It's not fully yours. It's Robin Hood's. So they've taken a page out of Coinbase's book where they have routine scheduled maintenance, especially when certain stocks and cryptos are extremely volatile. And at these very moments, people want to sell or purchase and they're unable to. Uh, maybe a couple minutes later, or a couple hours later, or even for an entire day, things might be shut down. Uh, there's also the example that we gave where there was restricted trading, close-only positions for GameStop and Dogecoin, and in the future that might happen again. And then there's the whole issue with, well, do you really want to trust a company that, first of all, is lying to you in the first place? And they're still making money off of you, and you're overpaying for free Bitcoin trades. Well, there's plenty of other options out there. Uh, it's just that many people are going to become complacent, and they're going to go to Robinhood, and they're going to go to Coinbase, and they're going to love it. They're going to say, wow, okay, you know what? It does have its issues, but at least it's so convenient. Well, <laughs> it's just like you're paying 
for that premium of conveniency everywhere else in your life, except you're losing money slowly and on a day-to-day -day basis, that's going to add up to quite a bit. Regardless, it's your choice whether you'd like to use Robinhood's upcoming cryptocurrency wallet. I would advise against it. I do not use Robinhood. I have used it in the past, only slightly, and I didn't like what they were doing. I decided, due to their actions, I will never use them again. I don't want to trust a company that is on the same level as Coinbase is. And I don't use Coinbase because I've been banned from it. But I will continue to report any negative news that I see on these two companies because I want to make sure that no one else is getting screwed over whether it's a hundred dollars, a dollar, or a hundred thousand dollars, there have been enough cases with both of these companies, and I'll admit there's no perfect cryptocurrency exchange or wallet or company out there. There's been a lot of issues. However, if you compare one company, which has 98% of the time, you know, running servers, everything's fine. There's a couple complaints here and there, but for the most part, four and a half out of five stars to, let's say, Robinhood or Coinbase or et cetera, et cetera, where, mm, well, maybe quite a bit more complaints, quite a bit more people who have been banned or frozen money or lost their entire savings or glitches or maintenance servers, and they're nowhere near company A. Well, it's an easy, obvious choice. So thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye. Check that out. <laughs> My car is literally connected to the ground. Yeah. A little frozen. <laughs>